What Pokemon do you think is the best in Regulation C? What's up guys, it's Obo here with my top 5 Pokemon in the current competitive scene. In this video, I will be discussing each of my picks for the best Pokemon in Regulation C and why I think they are at that spot. If you do enjoy this type of video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a ton and I appreciate it very, very much. Let's go ahead and get started with a few honorable mentions that just barely missed my top 10. So when Iron Bundle actually hits its Hydro Pumps, it is an amazing mon. This Paradox form of Delibird has 136 speed, 124 special attack, and 114 defense. This Pokemon is great for speed control with a move like Icy Wind, which is a 55 base power ice type move that also lowers your opponent's speed. Also, when Snow is up, this Pokemon is able to get up an Aurora Veil, which halves the damage from all moves from the opponent. With its ice and water typing, it does not give very much coverage by having Hydro Pump, Icy Wind, Blizzard, and Ice Beam. Is all it really needs to hit Pokemon. With the ability Quark Drive, when Electric Train is up or bo Booster Energy is used, its highest stat is 1.3 times or 1.5 times if speed is its highest stat. A set a lot of players have been using is Booster Energy and it boosts its speed stat. This makes this Pokemon faster than almost every Pokemon in the game. Overall, Iron Bundle is on the majority of teams in Regulation C. It is used as a speed control mon or just a mon that just hits incredibly hard and outspeeds the opponent. Next up, we have the fish. Chi, you, chi easy, whatever the hell you want to call it. This mon has some great utility with Snarl, Will-O-Wisp, and Taunt. Snarl being able to lower your opponent's special attack. It is also a dark type move, so it is stab. Will-O-Wisp being able to burn your opponent and then taunt, making sure your opponent cannot use any status moves. Even with having these utility moves, Chi is usually just going to click its insanely hard hitting fire and dark type attacks. With the Beads of Ruin ability, lowering every Pokemon on the field special defense, its moves are almost impossible to switch into. Imagine this, a Terrifier, Chiyu clicking Overheat, in the sun, just no fucking switch ins. This Pokemon is insane with its 135 special attack, 100 speed, this Pokemon can just click a button and win the game. Also, don't sleep on Chiyu's Spadef with it being 120. This Pokemon also has access to Nasty Plot, so if you want to run a Nasty Plot set, you can run some bulk and just be able to click Nasty Plot, get your special attack raised, and just be able to sweep through your opponent's team. However, I think a choice spec set can just do that already. And yes, you do have to walk into a move, but I feel like it is definitely well worth it. Also paired with Terrastalizing, this thing can Terra into many different types to be able to cover its weaknesses. Being able to Terra Fire and click buttons is insane. Lastly, this Pokemon could 100% make it onto anyone else's top five list. However, I hate this Pokemon. I hate this Pokemon with a passion. I do not enjoy this Pokemon. Our last honorable mention is going to be Ting Lu, the Oko machine with fissures. I've clicked Fissure 90 times, and I think I've hit it once. But all jokes aside, this Mon refuses to die. With 155 HP, 125 defense, and 80 special defense, Ting Lu is a bulky, annoying monster. Paired with its Vessel of Rune ability, lowering the special attack of all Pokemon in the field, you can slap an Assault Vest on this Pokemon, and it will stay on the field for the whole match. This thing just does not want to die. Especially with Terrastalizing covering its weaknesses, this Mon can live so many hits. I've seen Terra Grass, I've seen Terra Poison. I, when I do run this Mon, I prefer Terra Poison, but you could run anything, even Terra Water. Like, a bulky water King Lu, like, so, so, so crazy. With its attack stat being crazy as well, with 110, getting access to Earthquake, Fissure, like I said, which is an Oko move, um, and Stomping Tantrum, and then getting coverage with Rock Slide, Stone Edge, etc. A lot of sets people run is that Assault Vest, where they run Fissure, they miss, and then Stomping Tantrum is doubled in power. It is already a 75 base ground type move, but it is doubled once you do miss an attack. This one barely missed a top 5, but let me know if you think I'm an idiot, and this thing is just absolutely busted in this format and should be in the top 5. At number 5, I have everyone's favorite fire doggo, Arcanine, not Arcanine. Um, I've been hearing people pronounce it like that. Is it Arcanine or Arcanine? Please, someone let me know. But Arcanine has always had a place in VGC with great utility moves such as Snarl, will o -Wisp, and also having priority and extreme speed. This Pokemon just can help out so many teams that are using balance or it can also just be an offensive Pokemon. With no Incineroar in the game, Arcanine is 100% the best Intimidate user in the meta right now. People have been using Gyarados a lot, but I think this is definitely the best Intimidate user. With 100 attack and then no other stat being under 80, this Pokemon is just all around amazing. It lives hits. It deals back so much damage. And like I said, 
having Snarl being able to lower the special attack of your opponent, also having will wisp being able to burn your opponent, which lowers the attack stat, and then having Intimidate, which lowers your opponent's attack stat. Like, you can just absolutely nerf your opponent's team. This Pokemon paired with Palfin and Amoongus rounds off an insane balance core, like I said, with the Fire Water Grass typings. This Pokemon has a usage percentage of 29.46%, which is pretty high. This Pokemon is used on a, a wide variety of different teams, and I think it can be the glue piece to a team. At number four, I have the best Treasure of Ruin legendary Pokemon, GM Pal. GM Pal looks like my girlfriend's cat, so shout out Jasper. But the Treasures of Ruin were finally allowed for competitors Pokemon play in Regulation C, and they have all had a huge impact on the meta. With this, I think Chimpao has made the most impact. With the Ice and Dark typing, with 120 attack, 135 speed, and also having the Sword of Ruin ability, lowering the defense stat of all Pokemon on the field, this fast, hard-hitting Pokemon can just one-hit KO so many different moms. With moves like Ice Spinner and Crunch, you don't even need coverage moves because you just hit insanely hard. This Pokemon also gets Psychic Fangs, so it can hit some fighting types, but this Pokemon also has great priority. With Psychic Terrain not being as prevalent in Regulation C, Champow does not have to worry about not being able to click those priority moves. Sucker Punch is great being a 70 base power dark type attack and going first, and then Ice Shard being a 40 base power ice type attack is nice just in case. I don't see a lot of Champows run Ice Shard in VGC, but it's there and you can run it if you would like. This Pokemon has been taking advantage of the ghost typing for terrestrializing. So that makes it immune to fake outs and extreme speeds. While also being an ice type, it gets access to haze, which can come in clutch for Dondozos because Dondozos are just still moping around and just always going to be a problem. Other setup that's like King Gambit with SD or, you know, even Dragonites with D-Dance, Baxcalibers, Dragapult. You get it. This Montesina's uses percentage of 29.71%, barely inching out that Arcanine. I think Chimpow is a great Pokemon with the right team composition. It can just win some games for the team. Coming into the top three, we have the one and only Clark Kent turned into Superman looking dolphin, Palafin. This Pokemon has been used so much in Regulation C, mostly with a Palance strategy, pairing it with Amoongus and Arcanine. This Pokemon has the ability Zero to Hero, which means when Palafin switches out for the first time, it will transform into its hero form, meaning it turns into a literal superhero. This Pokemon turns into fucking Superman, basically. Its stats in its base form are very lackluster. However, after it comes into its hero form, its attack stat gets boosted to 160. Paired with Water Terra and the move Wave Crash, which is a 120 base water type move, nothing wants to switch into this. Also having an amazing priority move in Jet Punch, being a 60 base powered water type move. This Pokemon is just so good, so good. I love Palfin, one of my favorite Pokemon in this generation. Palfin has also been using the utility role with Haze to specifically deal with Don Dozos. This Pokemon also has a decent move pool with Ice Punch, Zen Headbutt, and Boom Burst. Don't sleep on that special set. With the 106 special attack, a Boom Burst Throat Spray set could be used, especially with Surf and being in the rain. Also, talking about rain, this Pokemon has been used a lot with Pelipper. Pelipper sets the rain. With Terra Water, Wave Crash, and also being boosted in the rain, what switches into that? Seriously, like a dozo? Then you, you just have haze. You just have haze and you haze the dozo. You go about your day. Palfin has had a bit of a lower usage rate compared to the others I've listed so far, being at 20.45%. However, it is still a top three Pokemon in Regulation C, in my opinion. At number two, we have the Pokemon that everyone has on their team. This Pokemon has broke through the VGC scene as many people's favorite Pokemon to use. This Pokemon is none other than Fluttermane. Fluttermane has been thrown onto every single team you can think of. This Pokemon has a uses percentage of a whopping 67.80%, the most, the, the highest. Well over half the teams have Flutter mains, and for good reason. This paradox form of Mistrevious has absolutely shaken up the competitive scene. With the ability Protosynthesis, when Sunny Day is active, a booster energy is used, its highest stat is 1.3 times or 1.5 times if it is speed. That means pairing this mod with Torkoal or a manual Sunsetter like Murkrow can absolutely devastate the opponent. With stats of 135 special attack, special defense, and speed, you heard me right, 135 special attack, 135 special defense, and 135 speed. What was Game Freak thinking of? What was going through their mind when they made this Pokemon? They are like, oh yes, Mistrevious needs a pass form that is absolutely broken. With insane coverage moves like Dazzling Gleam, Moonblast, Shadow Ball, Energy Ball, Mystical Fire, 
Hex, Power Gym, and Psyshock. This Pokemon can hit every type, and also with access to Terra Blast, of course, and Terrastalizing, this thing can just hit anything you can think of. This Pokemon also gets access to Great Utility in Parish Song, Will-O-Wisp, Thunder Wave, and Calm Mind. This Pokemon has been seen on literally every single type of team that you can think of. Wolf Click just use a Fluttermane with the Paris Trap team. It can also be used as a Choice Spec Sweeper or even Booster Energy Speed Boosting variant. It can now speed everything minus a handful of Pokemon. This Pokemon is essential to many different teams' success, and I can obviously see why. This Pokemon also can set up, like I said before, with Calm Mind. and can just be bulky with the special defensive side because it is 135, which a lot of people forget. But... If you throw any physical attack at this thing, this thing is going to die. It is going to perish, and that is okay. Lastly, at the Covenant number one spot, I have the Dumb Mushroom Amoongus. Now, this Pokemon has been around the competitive scene since Generation 5, and it has made an impact ever since. Its stats won't jump at you, but with its great grasp poison typing, this Pokemon is a tanky wall. With 114 HP, 70 defense, and 80 special defense, this Pokemon can live a lot of hits. Also with the ability to Terrastalize, it can change its typing so it is no longer weak to the ice, flying, fire, and psychic moves that it usually is. I see a lot of just Terra Poison um, Amoongus's, Terra Water Amoongus's. Terra Water Amoongus is the most prevalent one to be honest, and it just lives so many hits. Amoongus gets access to one of the best abilities in the game, Regenerator. This ability is better in singles, but still is viable in the doubles format. Regenerator is where when the Pokemon switches out, it restores one third of its maximum HP rounded down. This Pokemon also gets access to the ability Effect Spore, meaning it has a 30% chance of Poison, Paralysis, or Sleep on others making contact with Amoongus. Amoongus is the best redirector of moves we have ever seen with the move Rage Powder. Rage Powder's description states the foe's moves target the user on the turn used. So, to explain, when Amoongus clicks Rage Powder, all moves from the opponent's side will hit the Amoongus. This allows Amoongus' teammates to set up or be able to take out a Pokemon without taking any damage. This Pokemon also gets the move Spore, which just puts every Pokemon to sleep because there is no sleep cause and it forces your opponent to bring uh, safety goggles so they cannot be put to sleep. Every Pokemon's going to nap time, basically. Amoongus also gets the move Pollen Puff. This is a 90 base bug type move, but if the target is an ally, it can heal 50% of its max HP. This makes Amoongus be able to heal the other Pokemon you have with it on the field. This is so, so clutch and can win so many games. Being able to redirect moves, like I said, with Rage Powder and then being able to heal your own Pokemon is just absolutely clutch. This Pokemon also gets access to the move Clear Smog, which can clear all stat changes. I just keep going, man. Amoongus is just perfect. I love Amoongus. The fucking goofy ass little mushroom. With all the utility Amoongus gets access to and pairing it with good stats and a great ability, I think it is the best Pokemon in Regulation C. Let me know what your top five Pokemon in Regulation C are in the comment section down below. Also, let me know your opinions on my list. What did I have wrong or what did I have right? If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button and leave a like. I'll see you guys later.